We're going to be doing the manual muscle test for flexor pollicis longus. So I'm just going to show my partner the action. She's going to flex her thumb in those three joints and add just a slight bit of wrist flexion included. Great. So for this, because as again, we're mainly testing the thumb, I'm going to bring her part way into that thumb action with the wrist slightly flexed. And I put my hand underneath it, and I'm going to be resisting against the distal phalanx here. So I'm going to ask her to hold this one in position as I try to extend her thumb out for five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. Okay, so starting with the thumb out in extension, can you please curl it all the way into the palm? Curl, 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 and then add that wrist flexion at the end. Good. Let's do that one more time. So I'm going to try to curl into the palm of your hand all the way in. Great. Excellent. So that will be the concentric for flexor pollicis longus. Again, that was flexion of the interphalangeal joint, metacarpophalangeal joint, carpometacarpal joint, and slight wrist flexion in all those actions. Position for flexor pollicis longus. We're going to have to take into account all of those joints. So what I'm going to be basically doing is bringing here almost into a thumb up position. So I'm going to be extending at the interphalangeal joint, the metacarpophalangeal joint, and that carpometacarpal joint, plus adding just a little bit of wrist extension into it, like so. This will be the length position for flexor pollicis longus.